record straight. You and me, we ain't nothing alike. Let's set the record straight. Those words you say, they hold no weight, they like. Let's set the record straight. You'll never break the man before. Hello everyone and welcome back to another custom die cash review. Today we have the 2021 Christopher Bell, da uh, not Daytona Dirt, what in the world? Uh, Bristol Dirt race version. Now, you may be wondering, wait, we didn't get a Christopher Bell scheme for uh, the number uh, 20 Irwin. Yeah, you're right. You caught me, you caught me. This is actually Eric Jones, but it's rebranded so it's okay. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty much the same paint scheme. There was only a couple of things that was not really a part of it. I feel like the Reesers wasn't really a part of uh, Christopher Bell. I feel like that was more of an Eric Jones thing. So, I mean, yeah, there's a few sponsors here and there, but it's a little inaccurate. But, uh, you know, I kind of wanted to have the whole Christopher Bell and uh, Kyle Larson, you know, kind of the dual dispute thing with the whole Bristol Dirt incident and whatnot. So, you know, I kind of squeezed it in here. It didn't really... I didn't feel right about it. I'm not going to lie. I didn't feel like... I didn't feel right about using an Eric Jones for a Christopher Bell. But that's really... It's really all I had to work with. And sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. So that's kind of what I had to do. So, I do not know. I kind of plan on it. But I'm not really too sure if I'm going to be doing the 2022 Bristol Dirt Diecast. Now, again, it just depends on what paint schemes come out. You know how they were wrecked, what they looked like, this, that, and the other, right? Of course, I have to go through a lot of reference pictures, just like I did with these uh, dirt cars. And I'll have to see what I can do. I can probably make a... Oh, was it Hemrick and Briscoe? Where they kind of tangled at the end? Because, uh, you know, we all know who won the race, and I'm pretty sure that one's being made. Uh, but, you know, it just depends. I might have to go back and make a couple of those. But anyway, for right now, we are focusing on... Uh, 2021, a curse, uh, a curse, of course, this is the Christopher Bell, uh, in quote, in quotations, Christopher Bell, uh, but I kind of blocked out Eric Jones' name, and I, I tried, I promise, I tried, but, so, we're going to go, uh, go ahead and get on to this here, this is Irwin Speedbore, I think, just got a bunch of mud stuff, Christopher Bell right there, of course, you got a little bit of detail on the interior, I like how there's like a little hole you can kind of see everything through, that was not intentional by any means, that was, uh, Definitely uh, just random, so that's pretty cool. I got the number 20 right there. Irwin, of course. Both banners are printed. Now, I get a lot of, you know, I get a little bit of criticism uh, criticism, and a lot of questions about why these things are so dirty. So, I'm just going to explain that real quick. I had a certain somebody, you know who you are if you're even watching this video, said it looks like you threw it in mud for 10 minutes. Yeah, but I mean, it's a Bristol dirt car. And, you know, people love dirt racing with dirty cars, all that good stuff, right? So a lot of people were disappointed when the Joe Logano win wasn't really dirty at all. There was just a couple build-up marks here and there. Same thing for the Elliott race version. So, I mean, you know, people were kind of disappointed, so I kind of took that into account, and I was like, you know what? I'll kind of make my customs a little more dirtier. Maybe people will kind of like them a little bit more. Personally, I like them being a little bit uh, more dirty. I feel like some of them are a little too dirty that I did, but, I mean, you know, for the most part, it's definitely better than just having a wee little bit of dirt just kind of sprinkled around the car. So there's kind of my reasoning for, you know, making them the way that I do. So I got the rear windshield there, speaking of, super dirty. Got the air one right there, which is also dirty. Got a little bit of red for the red clay in there as well. See on the back, Camry, Irwin, Toyota. A little bit of, you know, mud built up there. The Camry Tail Lights XSC, and of course the number 20 there. Over here you got Reese's. Again, I'm pretty sure that's not really a... Uh, yeah, sponsor for Bell, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> you got Irwin there, DeWalt. Uh, of course, you got Toyota there. Of course, you got a bunch of contingencies down here with it being a Joe Gibbs car. Uh, Mac Tools, Interstate Batteries, Freightliner, the little Cougar looking thing, Sherman Williams, Sports Clips, Mobile One, MC, Simons, and Lincoln Welders. Of course, you got the ter uh, terribly muddied up wheels there on the side. You got the little exhaust plate there as well. Got a whole bunch of mud and debris down on the side here. Now, I uh, got the NASCAR race car logo there, NASCAR Cup Series. Now, this is cut out, and, I mean, yeah, technically it is supposed to be cut out, but at the same time, it's supposed to be kind of, like, flattened on the front, but it's really hard to do that. So, with this, I kind of did a little bit of uh, axle mod uh, modifications, and we can kind of kind of push this around if we want to, so we can kind of slide it forward for a more damaged look, or we can kind of put it back into place for a, a more, you know, standard type of look. Because this whole front end here looked to be pretty torn up, so I kind of wanted to I mean, just kind of place it however, if we can get that there. So you can see it's a little more, 
just damage on that side or again you can kind of fix it back to uh, the way it's supposed to be and kind of make it look a little more normal so you do have a little born uh, a little born a little more mobility I guess you could say there of course you got some uh, some mud to cover that you got the front end got some of that red thrown in there as well the front end's all dirty we do have the little diaper thing painted on there the little filter they had for the race I don't know if they had it for 2022 but I don't know if they had it for 2021 of course over here you got some more muddied up uh, wheels got some more muddied up race car I got a little bit of a split in the other one there got the window net down so you got the roll cage in there that's painted if we can focus on that maybe yeah there we go looks pretty good you can see the roll cage in there uh, also with that steering wheel is painted the other side of the roll cage is painted too got the gear shifter down in there and of course we kind of touched up on uh, the dashboard you can kind of see it in there as well that's also painted with all that good stuff there so you got the little uh, bit of the back end which there's a hair on it for whatever reason and of course got some more race wear down at the bottom on the wheel anyway so speaking of bottom we are going to flip this thing over here in just a second as soon as I can get my camera in position here there we go maybe possibly there we are all right so underneath of course you got just your standard uh stuff from me of course you got the red fuel tank that little red thing got the black exhaust pipes uh the silver drive shaft and transmission of course you got the little bl uh, black brackets there of course you got the black uh Oh, what's it called? Axles back here, and they got the little support braces or little suspension braces, I guess you could say. And then, of course, the to uh, throw on all top of that, we got just a whole bunch of mud and stuff. Just, you know, of course, kind of give it that really muddy, worn down, erased up effect. Now, next time, I'm not really too sure. I thought about doing some interior design with, like, some of the whole mud effects. Because, if you remember, uh, back in 2021, <laughs> William Byron had a... Just a face full of dirt, face full of mud, dirt, and you know, all that stuff from uh, racing the race, of course. So, I mean, I don't know if I might throw in some interior detail in there or not, but it's just a 164, so I know I can't really go above and beyond for doing interior stuff like that. I'm really only luck uh, lucky to do what I'm able to do now, of course, you know, the, the shaft of the steering wheel, uh, just the center of the steering wheel, the top of the steering wheel. Uh, of course, you know, you got the roll cage, all that. So I'm pretty lucky to just even do that type of detail on the inside. But, I mean, you, you never know. I might be able to find somewhat, some way in order to kind of get a little bit of dirt detail on the inside. Now, I don't know about you, but personally, I think that would be uh, some pretty cool detail. So, with that being said, this will be available on the Bottom Bag Diecast eBay page here very, very soon. Also, something I should probably say, I am leaving for Ohio within three days the next three days and then i'm off for a little vacation so uh, when you're seeing this video it will be two days and then of course we're going to try to get as many diecast reviews out as we can because of course uh, we still have quite the amount kind of stacked up and not only that there is more on the way so of course you know we got some or a lot of diecast reviews to do so i'm going to try to get as many done as possible and I will uh, do the whole wave, or I'll, I'll do a wave drop for the Bottom Bag Diecast CBA page whenever I come back from Ohio. And then, of course, we'll have a little uh, Ohio haul, depending on, you know, if I get any diecast. I doubt I will because, I mean, you never know. I'm there for like a week, so we might be able to find something, and yet we may not. So, nonetheless, I am really hoping to find some of those uh, test car waves, or just wave two in general. But with that being said... I do believe that'll be all for this custom diecast review, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.